In this session, we're going to be finishing um, our, our next line, which is red plus blue for making our intermediate colors. We're going to make our secondary color violet and our intermediate colors red, violet, and violet, blue. So you're going to start with red. Put a little bit of red on your palette. And start with your blue. A little bit of blue on your palette. Now blue is the strongest color we have, so be really careful while you're adding it so you don't overpower your red too much. So you're going to start, um, you should have your clean little bitty water cup, you should have your full water cup, your empty water cup, and you should have some paper towels down here to blot your brush on and clean it off if you need to. Okay, you should be using the quarter inch easel brush and you're going to just dip in, get some of the red paint to start with, and you're going to paint it right here into the red square, or rather rectangle, excuse me. Then you're going to take some of the red and kind of pull it into the center to work with. Okay, and then you're going to take just a little teeny dribble or tiny pin prick of blue and mix it into your red. Now that hardly changed a thing. So I'm just going to get a little bit more, but I don't want it to be too strong. Okay, that's about right. Just a little bit for this next one here that's not quite yet red violet but it's not no longer pure red at the same time okay so just it's barely different you can barely see the difference I'm gonna get a little bit more blue here and add it in and remember as you mix make sure you mix thoroughly so it's really really evenly mixed we don't want any blobs of blue in there we don't want any blobs of red in there we want it to be all really nicely thoroughly mixed okay so mix it around really good if you need to you can kind of squish your brush off by rolling it around and I'm going to take this one now and paint it in here it's my red violet it's just a little bit to the violet side okay and it should be just a bit darker than the previous one I'm going to add a little bit more blue and I'm going to continue the same procedure as last time just adding a little bit of blue for each new little rectangle okay it should um, you know if you do it carefully and thoughtfully it should end up looking like my example okay so here's the next one right next to the violet it's just a little bit darker and I'll add a little bit more blue now to get a violet now with the with blue and red getting violet there's a huge huge difference between the violet that we mix and the violet that's in the tube of your paint right because um, because the pigment is so strongly different and the way that we're mixing blue here this is a really cold cool blue and a warm red so they kind of mix and don't they look kind of look funny it's a it's kind of weird violet it's not a bad violet but it just looks it's not what you would really consider violet it's almost like a maroonish color um, but there's our violet I'm gonna add a little bit more blue now um, and the, the violet that you most likely think of as violet is what's gonna be when you mix on the next line where you mix magenta and blue that's gonna more likely be what you consider violet in your kind of mind's eye um, and here's a little more blue now and this one is for the blue violet and that one's for the blue violet if I add a little bit more get a really dark blue violet right there and then I'm going to clean my brush off and dip right into the blue and paint the blue right in the blue square okay and that completes the red to blue spectrum of, of violet and red violet and violet blue okay once you're done with that wash your brush out and get some new palette paper if you need it and we'll start the next one